Hello everyone, this is Hassan. In this video, I'll show you different features of Robinhood app from an Android phone. So let's get started. So once you open your app, you'll see that uh, interface. So at the bottom of the screen, you'll see there are different options. So let's start from the left. On the left hand side, you have your portfolio. Then you have cash management. Right now, we are at browse then you have inbox and the last one is account so i assume that you already set up your account and you have transferred some money to your robinhood and you are ready to purchase uh, some stocks so here uh, so if you go to browse you will see some news first you can search the companies on the top uh, but let's look at the market so what's going on in the market so so GE post loss on restructuring charges but raises cash flow goals. GE is up by 12.9%. And if you scroll down, there is another option which shows you the top mover. So who are going down and who are going up, you will see it from here. If you swipe to the left, you'll see all the companies that are going up and downs. Then you also have some other news. If you keep scrolling, you'll hear a lot of uh, news here. So let's just get started with company. Let's say I want to look at Ford. So let's just, just type F. And the first one is Ford. So let's look at it, what's going on. So if you look at Ford here, you'll see something going on. You can see um, the bar is going down. That means the stock price is decreasing and you can see it today it was decreased by 0 0.0747 or 0 0.86 percent if i look at one weeks of data i can uh, type on the next one which says 1w if i click it here you can see the price is actually going down it went down by 30 cents one month it went down by 55 cents three months it went down by 0.97 one year 0.75 five years four dollars and 82 cents that's a lot so Ford price is actually it's getting lower and lower so here the position shows you how many shares you have purchased I purchased just one because I think Ford is not a good option for now because look at here I purchased one share and average cost was 8.64 and now the equity value, I mean, this is the current value, which is 8.56 because this is the current price. And the diversity means how much of your money you have invested in four. So that's only 0.56. So I didn't invest a lot because I see this market is going down. And today's return, you can see is 0.08. And total return, if you, so this is only today's return. And total return is if you keep it for, a month or maybe two weeks it'll show you the total return so you should focus on the total return and this is some statistics you'll see the open price is 864 today's highs is 864 low is 852 50 weeks high is 1056 50 weeks low is 741 and some other data so there are some recent news and that shows the red flag that four is going down and if you go if you scroll down a little more, you'll see 18 analyst ratings. So 38.9% saying buy, 55.6% saying hold it. And there are some comments here from Morningstar. Why should you buy it and sell ratings? You'll see them in details if you want. And the next you see, you'll see the quarter three earnings. So here you can see the expected EPS. So what is EPS if you tap here, you'll actually see what's TP, uh, EPS means okay and you can dismiss it from here you can replay the earnings call if you click here you will actually able to hear what's going on the even details and everything so let's go back so if you look at quarter 3 2009 the expected eps was 0 0.26 but ford is actually doing better it's 0 0.34 so that's good and this is your history if you have purchased for well, on October 17 I purchased 10 shares at 9.08 then I sold on October 18 at 924 
Then again on October 25th, I purchased one share at 864. I haven't sold it yet. So that how it looks like. So let's say I want to purchase. I'll show you some options. Uh, how do you actually purchase? So let's click on trade and say sell. So this is where you can sell your one share. If you want to sell one share, you can sell it. Now the price is 856. That means if you sell it now, oh, it's now changed to 855. Now the cool option from here is order types. So from order types, you can there are several options here. Let me show you the first one. This is market order. So sell forward at the best available price. This is I can select this one, and the market order will sell you at the current price. This is one, and you can limit your sell F at a minimum price or higher. Let's now say you, can, you might get confused here as it says limit order. So set the limit price or the minimum price at which you are willing to sell for. Your order will only be executed at your limit price or higher. So if you do that, let's say I want to make some money because I invested 864. Now it is 856. So I'm going to say, okay, if the price is at least 880, I will um, sell this share. So let's skip continue and then you have extended hours that are you going to use extended hour from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. or market hours only 9 30 to 4 p.m. That's an option that you can choose. So let's choose the market hours only and you can pick today that okay I'm going to sell it today by 4 p.m. Okay, or you can say good till cancel up to 90 days. So you can set it up for 90 days. Okay, in the next 90 days, if the price is uh, 880, sell this. Otherwise, don't sell it. So then tap yes and then swipe up to trade. If you do that, it shows you that okay, you're gonna sell one share and your price is 880. Okay, you're gonna hold this for three months. Okay, there's no commission. So done. So once you do that, if you scroll up now, you'll actually see the limit sell is placed that you're going to sell one share at 880. So this is a cool option using um, Robinhood. So let's go back now. So I just showed you how do you um, sell a share um, using Robinhood. And now you can also do the same for uh, buying Ford so this is for selling let's say again I go back to Ford and I say okay I'm gonna buy so go, go click trade and say buy so from here um, you want to purchase let's say I want to buy if the price is eight oh this shows you how many shares not the price though so I'm gonna purchase one and the price is 856 but I'm gonna change the order types limit order so I'm say okay I will only purchase if the price is 850 okay and extended hours or market hours now for this time let's choose extended hours and I'm gonna say okay 6 p.m. today and only one share if the price goes at 850 I will buy one share of four and it says that not enough buying power that means you don't have enough money so you cannot purchase okay but this is a way you can set it up okay so that's how you can purchase a stock or sell a stock so this is how this works buying and selling so now let's go back to the first option which is your portfolio so from this is your portfolio so you're investing 1527.92 just changed okay and past 24 hours you stock increased by 23.20 dollars which is 1.53 or 1.54 let's keep changing so from here you can actually see what happened to your stock so let's say all if you look at all you can see that it, there is a bar actually in the screen the black bar you can see you can actually see that all is September 12 September 11 so I started on September 10 on the first day and you can see there there is nothing there then 
it was increasing by 0.5%. Slowly it was increasing $9. $9. Sometimes it was going down. Sometimes it was increasing. So the biggest change happened here. You can see suddenly I made like $219. I actually bought a Bitcoin and it it was 7500 and I sold it at like 10000 So I made like more than $200 there. So that was pretty good. So here you can see your stocks, what's happening. Okay, so let's go down. Let me show you some other options. Here's the uh, stocks that you have. So I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 stocks. So now we can see the three dots from here. You can actually see different things. So I easily put the total gain and loss. See how much money I made or I lost. But you can set the last price. You can see this is the last price. The green means it's going up. And the red obviously means going down. This is the percent change. Then you have uh, some other options, total percentage and total gains. So I usually use that. And also you can move a stock. So let's say I want to observe um, McDonald's. Let's hold it and drag it all the way up. So McDonald's, I, I want to see what happens to McDonald's. You can drag a stock up to have a better uh, visibility. So cryptocurrency is the same you can set it up that way so we can see the bitcoin i lost uh one dollar and 62 cents this is the watch list so some of the stocks that you want to look you can make a watch list how do you make a watch list so you can go to search let's say search a g and you can see um you want to check Let's pick Bitcoin Gold, and if you click on this plus, and then go back to your portfolio, and then you'll see the Bitcoin Gold. Let me see where is that? Should be here. Oh, it's in the cryptocurrency range. So watch listed are the stocks you, you will not see the cryptocurrency here so we can make the watch list using the plus icon Okay, so these are all the options um, I think I showed you everything and from oh from the stock you can actually see the same thing that I showed you before The next one is cash management so I want the David card offer by Robinhood so I'm in the waiting list now and then you have the inbox and here you can see you have three options so we have received your order to sell one share of four for at least 880 per share if this order isn't filled within 90 days it will expire so you can cancel this though if you want to the last one is your account so you can see the total value of your account which is 1526.74 which has changed your buying power is one dollar and fifty five cents you can get free stocks you can also become a gold member i think it's four dollars a month so you'll have more insights of the market and you can invite your friends and get free stocks and then some other options as well um, and the one I want to show you is account summary. So here you can actually see the stocks that you invested. Or no, this is not the investment. This is the current value of your uh, portfolio. This is not how much you invested. This is the current value. I'll show you where you can see how much you actually invested. So your stocks is 1329.13. Crypto is 195.19 and cash is 155. Your buying part is only 155. So here is the thing you might get uh, a little confused here as a buying power it says the withdrawal fund is 0, 0.00 instant deposit is 1.55 okay so what that means so you cannot withdraw even though there is a 1.55 cash available right the reason is the instant deposit so i use instant uh, deposit so that means you have access to 1,000 instant deposits. So that means if you start transferring money from your bank to Robinhood, it takes time. I think it's like five or seven days. But 
Robinhood they give you instant access to $1,000 so I already started transferring $600 it's not been cleared yet but still you have access to this money so that's why you cannot withdraw that 155 okay and this is on day trades so you can turn it off or turn it on so day trading means you cannot uh, buy and sell the stock within the same day if you do that it will show you you're limited to do three three day, day tradings only okay this is how you can set up the account and let me show you one more option which is the history and settings oh let me show you the transfer first so this is how you can transfer from your account you can do schedule automatic deposit okay and the one is the important one is history so if you go to history you can see what happened how many stocks you bought and how many stocks you sold so instead of all history you can actually see the order uh, the transfers I mean how much money you transferred to your um, Robinhood so here you can see all the amounts so if you sum up that's twelve hundred and fifty dollars so I so I invested twelve hundred and fifty dollars so far and did I receive any dividends nope I didn't receive any dividend rewards so when I opened the account first they gave me six dollars and twelve cents okay so this is how you can actually check so you and I so I invested twelve hundred and fifty dollars it's like a month ago now the value is fifteen hundred and twenty five so that's good actually I like it good money and then you have the settings so here you can actually do some security you can actually uh, set up the notifications next to see your devices so there are two devices I use I also use from uh, Windows which is pretty good because you'll see uh, more options from there notifications you can see what happened and you can also set notification for each of your stock so let's say these are the stocks you purchased and this is the notification about your watch list if you see price movement it will send you a notification and turn it off and turn it off so I turn on everything because I want to see what what's happening in the market like almost uh, every hour so I think I have showed you all the features and there is help and support so using the help and support you can actually get uh, supports from the Robinhood team and there are very helpful so that's cool so yeah that's I think I showed you all the options available um, in the Robinhood app if you have any questions please let me know and thanks for watching the video guys and I'll see you next time bye